Hello and welcome back to episode 12 of your fortnightly city update video. Where I'll be diving in to all the construction and restoration projects going on in the city of Newcastle upon Tyne. In this week's video, I will be visiting all the usual sites which I have covered in previous episodes, including the Pilgrim Place development and the new construction site at Pottery Lane. Also this week, I have a couple of development areas in the city for future development, so stay tuned for those. So starting our little tour around the city, at the former Bark and Stonehouse store at Gallagher, which is getting converted into students' accommodation. The demolition of the middle part of the building is continuing with just a small part towards the back of the site to complete, with most of the demolition at the bottom now completed. Rounded some more students' accommodation, which has been constructed on St James's Boulevard. Round the back, there's been a little more cladding fitted, and again, round the side, with more cladding stretching up the side of the building. Round at the front, where most of the cladding is completed apart from a small stretch along the bottom, and at the side, where the lift is situated. On Portly Lane, at the site of the new apartment blocks, which have been built, you can see the first concrete tower is up to level 4 of its construction. And a little further to the left, you can see they're starting to build the second tower. And across the back of the site, concrete foundations have been laid, along with rebar columns. Back down on Pottery Lane itself, after the views from the ridge of bridge, you can see they're starting to pour concrete into the base of the second tower. And a little further along, there's been a second crane which has been erected since the last video. Now on to one of the future projects, which I mentioned at the beginning, which is on 4th Street, behind the central station. It's a new office block, if the project ever gets off the ground. As you can see, it's pretty much waste ground at the minute, but it's one to keep an eye on for the future. And now, just for a quick check-in on the restoration work on St Nicholas's Cathedral. As you can see, work is still ongoing, which has now been going on for a few months. I will check back in a few weeks to see if it's been completed. Round on Grey Street, all the work has finally been completed, with all the living gardens and the seat area finally finished. As you can see, different companies are advertised on the end of the seats, and to be honest, it's made Grey Street look a lot better, as I think it blends in well with the rest of the street. On Pilgrim Street, where the Lonron and Saga are filling in the subway, you're not going to believe this, some work has actually been done after all these weeks. Some blocks have been installed, which are obviously for sitting on, and it's nice to see some work eventually getting done in this area. Moving round to the new Pilgrim Place development on Warsick Street, work is continuing with the ground preparation works, with a lot of activity taking place on the site the day I visited. Over the back of the site, you can see more foundations have been laid since the last video, plus a lot of long rebar columns waiting to be sunk into the ground. And at the top end, there is a lot more foundations being laid, with work on this project expected to be completed in 2027. Around at the new His Majesty's Revenue and Customs Building, work to install the cladding on the new Bridge Street side of the building is continuing, plus the little bit in the top corner has now been finished. Around the corner on John Dobson Street, there's still a bit clan to be fitted at the bottom and some coven still to be finished. And a little further down, the window frames are starting to be installed on the side of the building. And on the corner, they've started to install the panels around the corner itself. On Market Street, a lot more window frames and glass have been fitted to the Corliel House fascia. And a little further up, some of the window frames are actually complete. Around on the Pilgrim Street side of the building, more cladding and glass has been installed onto this side of the building. Moving on to Northumberland Street, where work on laying the new pavement is continuing. As you can see, not a lot has been done in this area since the previous video two weeks back. But there is a small area which has been completed near the Northwest Bank. Also, they have started work at the top end of the street near Haymark and Metro with work starting to remove the old paving. And a little further down, they have started to install a drainage gully at the North East Space Skills and Technology Centre for North from a university on Ellison Place. Work is continuing on the foundations for the site. A lot more concrete has been poured 
Over the last two weeks, at the new High End Hotel, being built on Pilgrim Street in the former fire station, it's pretty much the same as it was two weeks ago, with one of the old fire engine bays still waiting to have its window frames fitted. And finally, to the second project of what could be a new construction site, as demolition is taking place at the old blocks just off Richardson Road, up from the RBI. Work started here a few weeks back to demolish these blocks, and they've been working steady pace, so this could be another area to watch for a future construction project. So before I wrap this video up, please let me know in the comments what you think of all the projects going on in the city right now. Also, if you've liked the video, please give it a massive thumbs up as it really helps my channel grow. And if you've not already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell notification for when I release more videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time on 55 Degrees North.